Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. I said, no, I shan't do that. I'll do it the way I want to. If I want to start with the tip, then. Oh, hello. Welcome to Chewing the Cud. What have you got for us this week, Lee? Just stuff. Just things. Um, probably stuff about a, yet another drag queen television show, I think. Groundbreaking. On screen now you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Cud TV on social media where you can follow us. Cud.tv is our website. And on YouTube or podcast services, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as the names of people who have commented on our social media this week scroll along the bottom of the screen, it's time to go over to Mike for the buzz. <laughs> Dating. It's been a while since you've had to do dating, isn't it? I've never had to date. Never had to date? No. How did you and your partner... I'm just a... I'm just a I was just a vulnerable young woman. Red it flags. Was... Red flags. Red flags. <laughs> yeah. Never had to date? No. Just, <laughs> just took him over one ill I was just... Yeah. I was just plucked from the shelf of life. Anyway, there's a new dating terminology. You know what ghosting is? Yes. Describe to me what ghosting is. It's when you don't like somebody and you just don't want to be in their life anymore, so you just completely ignore them. Or you do like them, you just can't be bothered. You just, 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 just stop, stop messaging, yeah. stop replying. Yeah. It's valid. It's not valid. It's mean and hurtful and it's, it's not helpful. Mm, I disagree, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just... Have that conversation, be honest with the person, go, it's just not working for me anymore. Or just to send a text. That's fine, at least it's not just yeah. going, not responding. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, the gallery using that age of light, it's not me, it's you, it's quite clearly you, which is why. I'm... You say, you say, we're not in the right, we're not in the same place at the moment, and I think that I want you dead, so I'm just going to back off. Thanks a lot, goodbye. Cheers, great, thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's an option too. For you, maybe ghosting is the right way to go. Um, but a new thing has come out called benching. Benching? Benching. Like bench pressing. <laughs> <laughs> what no. did you just do? <laughs> and that's supposed to be a bench press. You know, like dudes that work out in the, the gym. <laughs> dudes that work out in... <laughs> But yeah, benching um, is a, a new thing. So it's not where you ghost someone. It's where you tangle the, tingle tangle them along. Tingle tangle, tangle them? You just pull them along a little bit. So you basically, you think... The wheels? Something, something better is going to come along. Okay. Right? But I don't want to lose this person just in oh, case. Oh, so they're like the backup. The backup, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you keep in contact with them, you keep texting them, and so like keeping them in touch sort of mm. thing, but without like going on dates and stuff. Right? Okay, just dangling the... Dangling the carrot. Yes. yes or the penis. Sort of bo bottom, if you're. Uh, it's not all about penises, though. Sometimes, sometimes it's about bottom. vaginas. Not for me. And sometimes about n not none of those things. Okay. It's just about personality. It is about. Anyway, back on topic. Yeah, yeah, back on topic. <laughs> back about dick. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's it's a new thing that's come out where people are basically just keeping their their side options open. Um, when I first heard about this, and they're going, ah. That's interesting. Some people are doing that to me. Are you a receiver of the bench? I have received the bench. You sat on the bench. I have been benched on a couple of occasions. Waiting for, for somebody to come and they just don't ever come. Oh, well, no, they came eventually. Did they? But that's all about my skill. Um, <laughs> 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 Made you feel a little bit queasy. That yeah. Yeah, I did, yeah. 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 Um, but it's like those people that you have a little bit of contact with, oh, hi, how are you doing? That sort of thing. I mean, I've been benched. That's not fair. So do you know what I've done with those people? I've what cut them off. Have you, have you ghosted them? No, I've sent them a message going, I'm not being benched, go away. And they went, I don't know what you're talking about. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. It's coming around to your house tomorrow, and it's still coming around, I'm like, yeah, because it's huge. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you make the eyes go across. But yeah, it's a new thing that's happened. 
It's not a new thing, it's just giving it a name, haven't they? Giving it a name. A name. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a right, name for something that's always happened. Yeah, it reminds me, you know, the um, first episode of Queer Folk, there was also some new blokes, some better blokes mm. waiting around the corner. That's why I keep going out. It's very on that so like, kind mm. of ilk. Just say I'm just not that into you. Yeah. But I might keep you around just in case just in all case. else fails. Sometimes you get an itch and you need scratching. Yeah, back up. Mm. Oh, I did you say back up as well. Yeah. <laughs> Well, moving on. Have you ever committed a crime? Commit one now. Oh, yeah, which one? All of them. <laughs> All of the crimes. <laughs> All of the crimes. He's currently All of the time. murdering and drug smuggling yes. <laughs> and um, human trafficking. I may, I may have, I may have, um, I may have purloined things okay. from time to time. Okay. Um, Pulling is not a word, so we can go it with is that. Pulling is it? I'll just say it's not a name. Cause... Taken things. Okay, you should just admit to theft. Yeah, so you may not have done something illegal in the past, mm, but no. would you try and pin it on somebody else if you could? Yeah, totally. Okay, what about a dog? Depends. Depends. If it's an ugly dog, quite possibly. <laughs> if it's an ugly dog, cute. No. Okay. In case, in case it gets done up the wrong in prison. No, I just feel that like some dogs. Deserve it. Deserve, yeah, deserve to be, it to be uh, fingered by the law. <laughs> it's probably the vet that does that. Mm. Um, What's well, the story about a man in Colorado? Okay. Okay. Who may or may not have been driving while under the influence of alcohol. Okay. Got pulled over by the police and swapped seats with his dog. <laughs> Because that'll that'll be the that'll be the um, the way to go, isn't it? Oh, that that that's so convincing. That's not the an actual picture of it's the not dog. The actual picture no. of the dog driving the car. No, because that's something out of like a Disney film, isn't it's, it? It's it's quite clearly a picture that they put together to illustrate the point. Yes. Um, but then when the police went, the dog's not driven it. The guy tried to escape on foot and ran quite clearly drunk about twenty yards before falling over. Oh. So yeah. Has been charged with driving under the influence. Sorry, windy pops then. Um, hmm, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about that. It's very, very. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what about giblets? Can they get behind the <laughs> wheel of a car? You glue the little paws on. You can. Gerbils. <laughs> Gerbils. <Chirples>, yes. <laughs> Not giblets. <laughs> That's a cat. No, that's a cat. <laughs> not a gerbil. Not a gerbil. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's a choice, isn't it? It was it was a try to. Do get we out. know what kind of what breed of dog it was? A four-legged dog. Was it a large dog? Was it? It could because there are certain circumstances you might go for a <laughs> second. You might go okay. All right, but then you know if it's, if you're talking like a Chihuahua, then clearly not. Because how would read the wheel? <laughs> they could do the wheel. All the pedals. All the pedals, but not, not both. both at the same time. Unless it has a number of chihuahuas. Or a very jumpy dog. Yes. Jumps on accelerated to jump. Yeah. 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 Anyway, um, and if you've been caught speeding, why not share it with us? We're at the Cud TV on social media. And that brings us nicely to our story of the week. Now, I've made a choice with my head. You know, the bits that do grow, which is still some of it, get shaved. Right? You just put a hat on. I shave my head. Yeah. But I choose to wear a hat. Well, you just put, but you can just put. You don't have to shave your head, do you? you just Sometimes I wear a merkin, but that's not on my head. No, merkins are lower pubic wig. wigs. Okay, pubic wig. I was going to go with lower wig, <laughs> but okay. A He's, lower wig. A lower wig. Like there. <laughs> it's one that slipped. Um, <laughs> but some people, you know, they, they don't like to be bald, so they want. Like, you get people who go for hair transplants mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. A gentleman has had um, a tattoo. How's it? Of a um, well, basically a fringe. Oh, okay. Yeah. So realizing he was going bald, he went to a tattoo artist and said, "Can you tattoo me a fringe on, please?" And so they have done. How did that work out for him? Um, well, shall we say not well? Oh. So he's had okay. the permanent tattoo done on his head of hair, a fringe of a fringe that doesn't go all the way around. No. Badly spaced. It looks like pieces of beef jerky. Beef. Beef jerky. <laughs> just like holding the word beef there. Beef. Well, do you know what? Mm. If that's what you, if that's what makes you happy, then go for it. Why are you defending someone? You never defend someone <laughs> because you mock people. 
Yes, I had it done myself. <gasps> Do you think it looks natural? I think you can barely tell. I asked for it to be kind of windswept. Uh huh. So it's like I'm going like that. <laughs> that looks worse. It looks like you're trying to lick your ear. <laughs> you know, like when people go and they go like that to get the hair out of the face. No. Like that. Like that. Like that. So that way or that way. Depends. Yeah. Because the hair's in your face. So yeah. Um, he was not happy with his head tattoo. I'm trying to change the subject quite quickly. Um, Oh, no, if you've paid the money, I'm you sorry, keep it I'm sorry, but off. my fringe has been messed up, but it needs to go uh -huh. back under the hat so I can <laughs> draw it back on. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, he was not happy with his out outcome. What was he expecting? He was expecting an actual fringe-looking tattoo. No, you can't. I don't have words for that because it's not f***ing <laughs> hair. <laughs> it's <laughs> And it's the, a tattoo. It's a tattoo. And the thing is, he wasn't receding there. He was thinning as well. So it's got a definite line. Do you think that's... Do you think that's a joke? I hope it's a joke. Because... <laughs> if not, that's, that's, a, that's a choice that he's made if it's not a joke. You know, I hope he's happy. I hope he's happy I don't too. think he is. Um, he's no. he's going to have to invest in a wiglet. One a feels a, a hard front wiglet. To I cover think you have to have laser removal first. Well, yeah. Or, but yeah. Choices. Yeah, choices were made. But that's all from the buzz this week. Thank you, Mike. Well, yeah. Um, but coming up next, we have Lee and his new hair in the showbiz. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with our Lee. Do you know what the world needs? Uh, what it needs right now? Yeah. It's love, sweet love. It's just there's one thing that's just too little love. Mm, but do you know what? We're not getting that. What no. we're getting is another drag queen hosted show. I mean, I love the fact of a drag queen. Is it a drag show or is it just a drag queen hosted show? It is a drag queen hosted show. So That's it's okay. not, it's we're not okay with that. As in... It's not another RuPaul's Drag no. Race season. It is called Drag Me to Dinner. And okay. it's a cooking show. Oh. It's a drag queen themed cooking show. So it's been invented or created by Neil Patrick Harris, the actor, mm -hmm. and his husband, David Burtka. So, yeah, here's a picture of the uh, poster for it. Being hosted by Bianca Del Rio, mm -hmm. amongst others. Um, and it's basically, it invites audiences to become a part of a drag team. So they're basically using everybody that's been on RuPaul's Drag Race okay. as, as teams. Mm -hmm. And what they have to do is go head to head in a quest to throw the most delicious and memorable dinner party ever witnessed in TV show history. So it's ready, steady, cook with drag queens. Quite possibly, yes. Or come dine with me. Down under. <laughs> come, down, come down with me with drag queens. Okay. 10 episodes, it's Master all- Master Chef with drag queens. Yeah, any, any of those, Mike. Any of those. Any of those. <laughs> Just a cookie show for drag Just queens. Cookie show. Yeah. Um, so we've got a couple of shots of the scenes from it here. Mm -hmm. Jinx Monsoon, Benzo La Creme, who do a lot of stuff together in, in their career. They do yeah, tours and stuff very together. Similar kind of um, so they aesthetics. have to, they, they've got to, right, so it's multiple criteria, tantalizing food and drink, mm -hmm. or inspiring design and decor, and mind blowing entertainment and overall vibe. Um, and as the episode ends the judging team will will announce who the winner is okay. um th and I, they describe as the most magnificent prize in inverted brackets in the history of television the glorious golden grater Ooh. so a cheese grater that they've sprayed gold nice mm. um it's already out so Ooh. if you do have hulu 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 i, I did have um, that but i got it sewn up <laughs> Um, well, you might need to reopen it just to watch this. It is it is on now, this very moment, for you to watch. Well, not, not right now. Not right now, this very minute. Watch, watch the end of this show and, and then, then start watch a it. one. Yeah, if you've, only if you've got Hulu. Yeah. Or the naughty internet that you can get things. Naughty on. Netflix. Naughty Netflix. Yeah, not not on Netflix, Netflix so. Yeah. So we'll, we, will, we will have to see what that is like, mm -hmm. whether or not it's any good or not. Okay, cool. You can say. Okay, so from drag queens, mm -hmm. we're going to put pop music. Ooh. Are you aware of the popular musical artist Kim Petrus? 
I am aware of Are that you? Word. Are you aware indeed. of their work? Uh, so she's had a really big year this year. Really big. Number one hit with Sam Smith. Mm-hmm. Um, Chop Shop. Yes, Chop Shop. No, it's not Chop Shop. No. Chip Shop. It's a Chip Shop. Ch- chop, what is it? Unholy. It's Unholy. Is he good? Does he go on about the Chop Shop? What am I saying, Chop Shop? I don't know. What's happening? Chop Shop. Down the Chop Shop. No, it's <laughs> That's not. That's not even the tune. No, it's not, is it? Anyway, it's something like Body Shop. Body Thank shop, you, right, Gallery. Okay. Yes, uh-huh. yeah. So she's had a number one with, with Sam Smith. She's also released a massive single with Nicki Minaj. We've mm-hmm. got pictures of them. I mean, bless. That was, I think that, that picture of them in the red is at um, the MTV Awards. Mm-hmm. Um, it, was, it, was quite a, it was quite a dark performance. Sam Smith had... A couple of nipple tassels and a thong on underneath. Okay. The schmock. Kim Petras, Nicki Minaj. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what the sample is in the song. It's like a, a Euro. Euro sample. <laughs> Euro sample. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, she has been talking about how she's been filmed for the cover of Sports Illustrated. She is the second trans person mm-hmm. to be featured on the cover of the magazine. Okay, cool. So, yeah, she she has a full sort of, like, feature, and then inside... Stunning. Yeah, amazing photographs. I, I um, like the, the blue with the peekaboo. Would you wear that? I would if I had the body for it. I do not have the body for it. Oh, okay. The first... <laughs> more of a less of a peekaboo, more of a, oh, please stop showing me. Like Play-Doh. <laughs> oozing out. Yeah, the, oozing outside yeah. here. Yeah. Um, the first was, was a model, Lena Bloom, in 2021. Mm-hmm. Um, and... What what Kimmy's saying is that she's so excited when she got the call. Um, it's iconic. Lots of un- iconic people have done it before. Big dream come true for her because she's kind of like talking about how in America at the moment and in the world in general, it's quite a scary time for for transgender people. Um, um, so yeah, she's so she's kind of like saying that she does sometimes feel quite pressurized to be like this figure in the trans community. Oh. Um, and it's kind of like I'm blessed because she's, she's I've got all these these opportunities, but sometimes it's a little bit too much. Yeah. Um. So she's really excited about the cover because it's kind of like a huge kind of confidence Massive. boost to her. Ooh. Um. She's on a roll because she is releasing her debut album called Feed the Beast. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Um. At the end of June, and she's very excited about that. Um. So good for her. I yeah. like a bit of Kempetris. I, I like Kempetris, and I also like the fact that she's very honest about her story. Yes. And she says stuff like, I'm really overwhelmed by this all. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I say, you know, it's hard and not making it all glamorous and going, oh, this is easy, this is wonderful, mm. this is what I was born to do. She said, this is difficult. Mm. And she, she, you know, from the very start of her career, mm-hmm. she was like, I'm a trans woman. Yep. So dig your dirt on whatever you want because you're not going to be able to to kind of force me into me. a position. So, you know, yeah. whatever. So Completely good, good for her. Life and I absolutely love her. And she's stunning. Right, last bit of showbiz news. Mm-hmm. We've got a new LGBTQIA series coming about. Oh, oh. <sighs> Did it again with your mind tricks. What? I didn't do anything. Don't you try it. We've got a brand new Netflix LGBTQIA series coming. Oh, you did it. What, are you, Stop what am it. I doing? <laughs> Tell me what I'm doing. Getting into my mind. How am I getting into your mind? Don't know. Okay. I can stop it. I'm not going to look at you for a minute. Mind fingering me. <laughs> <There's> a... <laughs> Mind fingering you. Like that. On my brain, on my frontal cortex. I'm not having it, you know. Okay. Right, I'll not look at you. Fine. So, so, new Netflix. <laughs> a new Netflix show is coming. Oh, great. LGBTQIA themed. It's called Glamorous. Nice. And it is coming in June, Mm -hmm. and it focuses on a gender non-conforming young queer person, Marco Magia, played by Miss Benny. Now, I haven't really been aware of Miss Benny um, prior. Mm -hmm. Are you aware of Miss Benny? I think they're they're very American. You're very American. Their actual name is a duck. That's not not their (laughs) name. That's an interesting name to be bold with. (laughs) No, we say the actual name. We're not dead naming them, are we? No, because because they're not transgender. Okay, um, just checking. So their official name, which they go by two different. They go by Miss um, Miss Benny, and they also go by Ben the J. Government. Pierce. So their government name, as it's known. But yeah, but I think they kind of like go. Sometimes I'm Ben, sometimes I'm Miss Penny. It depends okay. what mood I'm in. Okay. Um, is an American singer, YouTuber, and actor. Ooh. And they've been posting on YouTube for about eleven years. Okay. Um, since 2020, since they were 11 years old. God, wow. does it make you feel old? Uh, this is a no. picture of them here. 
so they've got that so they've <laughs> why they've, do i feel you like that jacket it's That's shiny yeah i have it i'm not yeah. surprised um so the the program mm. is about it, it it reminds me a little bit of an even gayer um what was the one with um <laughs> what was the one with the the, the plain girl um in the um in in the and uh, Wilhelmina Slater Ugly Ooh, Betty. Betty. So right. it it's kind of reminds me a little bit of that scenario. So it's about okay. um, the, the the character wins a, a job in a glamorous cosmetics, working with a very familiar face. It's um, Kim Cattrall from Sex and the City. She plays the makeup mo modal <laughs> mogul mogul Madeline Addison, who's the head of of, of the, yeah, it's just the head of it. Just watch it. That's just watch, a, just it. watch it. Yeah, um, yeah, it's coming. It's also got Priyanka in it okay. from Canada's Drag Race. Um, it's and it's it's all about kind of finding yourself, finding your place in the world, and um, selling makeup. Nice. Mm, that's the, that's the end of showbiz news. I'm going for a lie down now because that's what I feel I've like covered it. Night. Well, thanks for that, Lee. Always nice to know that someone believes that they're earned something that they haven't. Um, stick around, because coming up next, we have our Game of the Week. <laughs> You're watching Chew in the Cud, and this week we're going to play Faster Hind. And this is for our very own Sue Pollard impersonation variety show that is late. So off you pop. I hate you. I know you do. Game of the week. Oh, sorry. Um, well, all he's going to do is ask me a question that he's got randomly generated that could be on any variety of topics. Are you ready, Lee? What's all that? What's all that? Homosexual hand movement. <laughs> I am ready, yes. Good. So, your first question is entertainment and celebrity. Okay. Okay, so, which girl group announced their second breakup following their fight? Will you put my phone down, please? You think I can't see these things, but I can. Yeah, I can see, I know that you see them. I know that you can do nothing about them right now. I can just overturn the table. Oh, I got really... <laughs> um, do you remember right. Harold Bishop? <laughs> <laughs> Harold! From Neighbours. Harold! <laughs> <laughs> Just, just, just that woman bawling across the sea. Hello, Madge. Right, Madge let's get on with this. Yes. Which girl group announced their second breakup following their final tour date in March 2013? Girls loud. It was indeed. I was there. Were you? I was at that concert. The the penultimate one. I don't know if it was the penultimate one. So they they announced they were splitting up after the set after the concert. Oh. Right. And then the next one was going to be the last one. So I was at the penultimate Girls Loud Con. I think I was at the penultimate one. Yeah, I was in a box. Oh. Uh, with free booze. I was just sat at the back. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I like being in a box at a concert. Mm. Fancy. Uh, arts and music. Oh. In the Harry Potter series of books, what is Gringot? No. What is Gringotts? I nearly said Gringotta, but it, it wasn't. It's Gringotts. So is it something transphobic? No. Okay. Um, is it where they buy their magical potions from? No. Oof. Oof. Hello. Hello. No. No. It's. Um, I don't. I haven't read any of these books because I'm an adult. Um, I, I only watched the film where um, Robert Pattinson died because Robert Pattinson died. Did that make you happy? I'm not. I'm not gonna say happy. Just not exactly sad about it. <laughs> You know, the big rapper's... <laughs> Irritates me. I don't think he can act very well. I felt the same about him in Twilight. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's... Oh, it's it's like it's like it's like it's anyway, question. Um, Tell me how you feel about this. It is... It isn't... Whatever I asked you, it wasn't what you said. It's a bank. Oh, OK. Yeah. Science and invention. This is your, this is your specialist subject. Uh -huh. Where in the human body would you find the alveoli? In my mouth. In your mouth? Yeah. No. I think you'll find that you do find them in my mouth. I think you'll find that this is not what it's written on this card, Mike. What's written on the card? The lungs. The alveoli in your lungs, that's the, the little hairs. 
minute hairs. I thought it was the outside of your nipple. What's that finger's about? That, yeah, that's that's a nipple. Areoli. That's what I thought you said. No, I said I said alveoli. Oh, uh, they're very similar to nipples. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sports and pastimes. <laughs> Ray Reardon won his last world championship in 1978, but in which sport? Belching. No. No. Um. You're not going to get it, are you? Darts. No. Well, kind of in that arena. Javelin. No. Of, like, sport that isn't really a sport, but they say it Golf is. Golf racing. No. Golf. No. It's got to do with balls. Rugby. No, it's snooker, Mike. Did I not say snooker? No. Sure. No, you won't say everything but. History and religion. Mm hmm in ancient history, what L was a leaf often used to make wreaths for successful athletes or artists? Something you should never rest on. That would be your laurels. Arts and music. Uh -huh. Who was the heroine of the acclaimed novel Gone with the Wind? The heroine in that film? Yeah. I don't know, I was in train spotting, but I didn't know. I just before. have to diddly do. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> what? Do that again. <laughs> Fiddle de dee. That was what I was going for, not doodly do. Doodly do. I like Ned <laughs> Flanders. <laughs> <laughs> that famous gun with the wind heroine. Doodly Ned do. Hokey pokey, pickety pokey. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Scarlett Johansson. Well, you got the first bit right. It is it's Scarlett Yo. Scar <laughs> <laughs> That's Scarlett Johansson. I was going to say you. Scarlett Yohara. It's Scarlett O'Hara. <laughs> Play it again, Sam. Okay, science and invention. Who invented the aqualung? They're a, they're a naughty group, aren't they? Yeah, I put a spell on you. No, I don't know. Them. You fall asleep, I put a spell on you. Which sounds a bit weird, actually, now I'm saying it. Mm. Um. In the aqua lung, mm. Jacques Cristo. You got that right, Mike. Well yeah. done. Was, you. Yes, because it was water and wet. And... Mm. History and religion. Uh -huh. To whom did the Bishop of Lichfield marry Anne Boleyn in 19. Oh, in 1533. 1953. It's a very late wedding after they'd both been killed. Um, that would be Henry VIII. It was Henry the Eighth, for I am, I am Henry the Eighth, I am. Um, that song doesn't work for the monarch though, because he got married to the widow next door, and she'd been married seven times before, and everyone was a Henry, but he got married, sorry, six times. But he married the women, so she, they would. He wasn't Henry the Eighth because he'd married eight times. He was Henry the Eighth because he was the eighth monarch called Henry. Thank you, Ivan Novello, for um, who? Ivan Novello, the the songwriting person. <laughs> <laughs> that was Ivor the engineer. <laughs> I wish I get Ivor the terrible. Ivan the terrible. <laughs> the arts and music. Uh -huh. What W did Oscar Wilde consider a wank to be the curse of the drinking classes? A wank. No. Whiskey. No. Now the gallery is saying Danger Wank, but that begins with a D. Danger Wank. Do -do -do -do. Um. He's the best. <laughs> He's the greatest. He's the fastest when there's someone else around. <laughs> Whiskey. No, it wasn't an alcoholic beverage. It was work. Ah. Uh. We, like, we poor people have to work. Science and invention. Oh, I can't say this. Triskaidekaphobia. Triskaidekaphobia. Is a fear of what? Triskaidekaphobia. 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 Yeah. Abra, abra, kadabra. Gonna triskaidekaphobia. <laughs> See, I fear of magicians. Anyway, what is it the fear of? Magicians? No, it's not. What is it then? It's the fear of the number 13. Oh, okay. 
Why are we singing Abracadabra then? I don't, because it just fit with the, the lyrics. Entertainment and celebrity. The number Abracadabra fit with the number 13. Abra, Abracadabra, I want to reach out and grab you. But then I, I, I changed that for Trigodecosophobia. Doesn't fit then. Reach out and grab you, decophobia. <sighs> Entertainment celebrity. Which yeah. pair of TV presenters finally made it to number one in the UK charts in 2013 when the single they originally released in 1994 hit the number one spot? Um, the, the late great TV pair of um, Phil and Holly. No. No. Who was it then, Lee? It was Anton Deck with Let's Get Ready, Ready, Let's Get Ready, Ready, Let's Get Ready to Rumble. Geography and Nature. Which festival in August 1969 was billed as Three Days of Peace and Music? Coachella. No. No. It's the original one. The original think, one? Um, think, um... So here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. He performed. Was it um, Creamfields? In America, Mike. Okay. 1969. Creamfields is a dance thing, you tool. Were they dancing at this this event that you're trying to get me to say? <sighs> yes, they were. It's also a dance event then. What was the answer? I don't know. Woodstock. Ah. Uh... The, the original one. The original one, not the 90s version that didn't do very well no. at all. Science and invention. The sandwich was invented in which country? Well, got, that's all for the game this I week. Got, no, 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 no. We need the answer, Mike, please. Don't need the answer. Yes, we do. Sandwich. Sandwich which? Invented by the fourth Earl. Of sandwich? Yes. Which tells you it's in England. There we go. I just, I just wanted to round things off evenly. I was just trying to edge the audience, that's all. Well... Stick around, because after this break, it's what one person called the closest thing to mental evisceration they've ever seen. It's Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time we stick pencils up our nose and slam our head on the desks, and it's time for Crafty Queens. Today, on this very day, uh -huh. we are going to be making a, a wooden house for a, for a ladybird. Okay. Well, not just a ladybird, whatever ladybirds, because it's important to, to protect the, the nature of the countries. And do you know why ladybirds are important? Because they eat the aphids. So, so we're going to make a little house for them. Ah. Just, just for, for ladybirds, it could be for um, bees, or it could be for... Um, Wasps? Witchetty grubs. Anything like that, really. Witchetty grubs. Witchetty grubs. Okay. Yeah. So be before you, you have... It's already cut out. It's already uh -huh. prepared. We're just going to assemble it. Oh, okay. So um, what you need to do is, f first of all, find your find your square with the four the four holes. Okay. I have I have four holes. I have two holes. It has two... Four slots. And four slots. Just four slots. Just the four slots. Yes. Four slots. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then you're going to take... The two slanty sides here. That two angled sides, yeah. Yes, that, that have a slant on them. Uh huh. Yeah. And you're going to insert now. Slanty side or flat side? Um, slanty side down in slanty a slot. Slanty side down. No. Slanty side up. So flat side down. Yeah. Okay. Right. That those are going to be the walls. Walls. The walls. Right. Okay. Um, and then there should be a kind of an oblongy like one. That. Let's, let me see. No, it has to go. The, they both has to be pointing the same way. Oh, okay. Right. Let me see. Let me see. Like let that. me see. Yes, that's right. Okay, cool. So next bit, you need to get the um, long oblong one with the four gaps to it either side. Uh huh. And that is going to go at the back, or kind of, yeah, it will become the back okay. of the thing. So you need to slot it into the gap. Does it go, does it go against the short side by any chance, or on the long side? Um, so, like that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah. There's no actual real oh, instructions with this. Oh, that's it. Once it pops in, then huh? um. Oh, f Once it pops in, then it. Yeah. Now, I think you could glue these together. It doesn't fit. It does. It, I'll tell you, it doesn't. Look, see. Mine does. Oh, well, mine doesn't. So whoever, whoever put this together didn't do the, the measure twice, cut once rule. I would imagine that if you wanted to make it extra secure. Oh, it's all fallen to pieces. Right, I'm doing that, that. Oh, okay. All right. So is you, are you kind of there with that? No, because the... The shorter piece at the back is longer than these other pieces. Well, you're going to have a bit on the top. Like that. And it doesn't matter. Because it's a slanted roof. No, as in the... What are you saying, Mike? The, these pieces aren't flush. It doesn't matter. No, it does, because that's stopping it going in. Well, make them flush. Oh, mine's all fun. I want to do. Make them flush. Have you got a, got a bandsaw for me? Right, I've got them together in some sort of semblance. Okay, as, in, as long as they're in some sort of semblance, that is fine. I am going to tr attempt to get mine. Have you built a pyramid? Stupid thing! <laughs> There. There we go. Okay. So. Then you need the front piece. Bit with the holes. Yeah. Yeah. That attaches to the front. Okay. That's where the little ladybirds. Mm. That's where the little ladybirds go in. Oh, it clicked, it clicked. Oh. Ohio or Nebraska? That one will go in. There we go. That one will go in. So you go, you go in for the bottom first, mm. right? So it's in the bottom. Done it. And then lean it backwards. Done it, Mike. It's okay. done it. Good. Well, well, it's getting a bit you. aggressive then. Over well time. done, you. Apologise for being aggressive, because you know. Um, um, so so before, you. <laughs> before you put the roof bit on, you've got a bit of twine. 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 And you want to kind of loop that through because that's where you, cause you're going to hang it from a tree. Am I? In your garden. Am I really? So I'll put a loop through. Okay, I'm going to do that. Right, and then then uh, that's all I have to do. It falls off. No, you have to tie it. Oh, you didn't say that. You just said put a loop through. You have to tie it in a knot. Okay, I have to get knotted. I'm struggling with my twine. It's, um, it's unraveled. Okay, so do you know how to sort the twine out? I'm licking it. I'll just twist it. Whichever way it twists naturally. Got it. Twist got it. it further got it. and it puts it to a point. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Now, the thing says you can paint them. I don't think you should because... Um, it takes time and we haven't got that time. It takes time also. And, you know, it's na nature, natural. Um, it might it might poison them. Sorry okay. about it, you know. Um, and then, so once you've tied your little twine... Yeah. You fit the lid uh -huh. onto the top. Okay. So, so this is pre pre made. It is, yes. Is this something you can purchase quite readily? It is. You could just you can just pop your little search engine into. Um, I'm going to destroy it um, into uh, Amazon. Uh -huh. Why will it not do it? Other people are available. And, um, oh, just go to a garden center and buy. Oh, no, it's done it. See, when it pops in, it's very satisfying. It okay. just doesn't want to. Oh. Bonobo monkeys. Right. 
I'm I am assembled. My roof my roof won't stay on, Mike. Right. So what? Oh, while I'm while I'm um, attempting to assemble mine, um, uh -huh. I have provided you with with a, an accoutrement of um, little ladybirds and um, bees that you can peel off the back and stick on. I don't think mine's going to work. Let's stick let's stick on some ladybirds first. Um, and I've also provided you with uh, kind of like saying welcome. I can't get the last bit in at the back. Why? Oh, there it is. I think, I think. Lift it up and find out. If I lift it up and it falls to pieces, this segment's ending. Oh, it's done. Yeah, it's okay. Right. I'm okay now. <laughs> you didn't I'm feeling... that very far, did you? <laughs> right. This is going to hang from a tree, you say? Yeah, I think okay. I think the best thing to do when you get home is just put a little adhesive. Uh huh. Just to just to, to secure it. And I've also got some ribbon. A little bit of adhesive. Um, the ribbon uh -huh. just to make it gay. Just to make it gay. Um, for because you know LGBTQI plus insects. Okay. They need homes too. So you do. Um, I haven't. I'm not been allowed to use the ribbon because it has green in it. And because of what you do with ribbon, like turning it into laces for your shoes. Yeah. Yeah, you've got form. To be fair, it's quite cute. What is? This. Is it? Do you not think? Uh, yeah. I don't know if you put anything inside it before you make it. I don't know if you like... I don't um... think we need to put anything inside it before you make it, because that's adding a step, isn't it? <laughs> so what I'll do is add a step to what we've just done here. Like some leaves or, or something? Um, do they, they, is that what they what do ladybirds? Insects. They eat insects. They eat insects, yeah. There do, we go. Anyway, I've made it gay. Do they, do they, do they, oh, I don't know. Do they eat flowers? No, they eat insects. Stop saying that over and over again. Okay, they eat other things than insects, such as other insects. They eat insects, that's all they eat. There you go. Hang it in your garden, hang it on a tree. Whatever you want to do with it, let the butterflies come in. And remember... If you butterflies? Huh? Let the butterflies come in is what you just said. The, did I say butterflies? You said butterflies. Ladybirds. Okay. What's the what's the story? Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on fire and your children are all gone. That's cheerful, isn't and it? And if you can't get any peed already, Virgin, be a crafty queen. Yes. What he said. I'm gonna I'm gonna bestow it up on a on a branch to watch it fall to pieces in my jardin, and um, it'll be. Like crawling. any insects live in your garden? Any nature, mama. It's mostly plastic in your garden. There is that. It gets very hot, and they can't land on anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on our social media at the Cud TV. The website is thecud.tv and, of course, on YouTube and podcast, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye.